protests, rallies, and movements. When it comes to racism, it's not gone. We're just finally starting to peel it out like a bad scab. What do we want? It's clear what many Americans want. We need to stop profiling. People need to be more open and stop believing that everyone's different just because they're a different color. Racism causes many types of psychological harm. Now, scientists are finding out that it may also affect a person's health. In a review of 121 studies, researchers found adolescents between ages 12 and 18 who experienced discrimination were significantly more likely to have depression and anxiety. Other research has suggested victims of racism reported a lower quality of life, higher levels of stress, and poorer overall health. They make people feel really hopeless and fatigued and like they're constantly fighting an uphill battle just to be themselves. In a recent study, scientists looked at 40 Mexican-American students. They found the participants who watched a stigmatizing video perform slower on a test where they could win money. The authors say exposure to the negative stereotyping changed the behavior of the subcortical nucleus accumbens, an area of the brain associated with the anticipation of reward and punishment. Just another way racism can affect the body in a negative way. I'm Marty Salt reporting.